so I've got this mountain bike uh, for sale that I've had for a while and and uh, it's a very very nice um, I don't know if any of you guys know about the Ford Sawback I think I don't remember what big name brand uh, it's, it's made by but uh, that's not important anyways I got this mountain bike for sale on Craigslist and uh, I, I had to share with you guys the conversations or particularly one conversation uh, that I, I've been getting or had gotten uh, from potential buyers, right? I'm betting most of you guys have gotten about the same thing uh, or at least uh, a conversation, something like this. But here it is. I saved it on my phone and so I'm going to show it to you. It starts off a little something like this. I am Lucas. Interested in buying the mountain bike Forge, blah, 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 blah. I will be paying with a certified bank check via UPS. I'll be responsible for the pickup as soon as check clears your bank. I proceeded then to say, awesome, sounds great. Now at this time I already know this is one of those bullcrap ones because I've had these types before. Why would you want to be paying with a certified bank check via UPS? That seems weird. Awesome, sounds great, thank you. Can I get your first and last name and where you live, please? I know you will love the bike. Right now, I'm already going to fish. I'm, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with this person. They say Kirksville, which is supposed to be a couple hours from where I live, and will arrange pickup from you. We'll need your name and address to send the check. I don't think so. Sure thing, this is me. Sure thing, but you forgot to give me your first and last name. I'm very trusting and would like to ship the bike to you immediately. This is their name they gave. Radil Basin or whatever. Thanks, Radil. I'm a local sheriff deputy and so I always run background check to check for legitimacy. There are a lot of car narcs these days. Okay, so Radil from Kirksville, Missouri, right? Once you are legit, perhaps you can send that check. He says, okay. I say, all right, Radil, all looks good. I would really like to hand deliver the mountain bike. What do you think? Didn't respond. Can we meet at the local sheriff there in Kirksville? I have a few friends there. It would be a neutral place for us both. No response. Never, ever uh, text me back. So I'm thinking, I've had several people like this. So a lot of you might think, well, it sounds legit. And I would caution you because it doesn't sound legit. But I've had several people, sometimes two at a time, uh, uh, do this to me. Even when I was selling my Pungo, my Wilderness Systems Pungo, I had somebody uh, say that they were going to uh, send me money through something and uh, uh, arrange for pickup. Uh, have, a, have a freight uh, come come pick it up that they lived way over and I don't know where and they were telling me they were all in the military and stuff like that. But none of that stuff kind of checked out. So you got to be careful when going on Craigslist because um, you get a lot of these. And it, and they would probably have me fooled um, if I wasn't a suspicious person anyway. And the fact that uh, I've seen several of these very same types uh, with very few details tweaked. So, uh, you know, keep your eyes peeled and, and uh, question it, especially if on the Craigslist. Um, you know, just question it because it just doesn't sound like... Uh, normal people conversation or just a, a general you know a fellow like me or somebody contact and maybe asking a few questions they're just like hey I'm interested I'm gonna send you money and I want you to ship it to me no questions asked they don't want to look at it I mean how they know the whole thing's not torn up and stuff that's because they don't care that sounds like some kind of con something I don't want to be uh, even involved in so I just thought I'd share that with you guys um, probably most of you have seen something like that if you've sold on Craigslist um, if you hadn't there you go. Uh, you might want to be really uh, aware of that. And I just thought I'd play around with this guy. I I'm not a sheriff's deputy. Some people might think, oh, you can't, you're not supposed to imp uh, impersonate law enforcement. I'm not doing it in the way that it's illegal. In fact, for a guy like this, he probably deserves it. And it pretty much stopped it right there where it was. So uh, the other guy that I said, hey, man, it sounds like you're, you're trying to con me. And he wrote back and said, has, has nothing to do with con. It's not even in good English. Not even writing me in good English. Uh, but then stopped texting me after that kind of a thing. So, um, uh, you know, be mindful uh, when you're doing that. It's probably not in your best interest and you're probably going to lose somehow. So, uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you.